Once in a blue what? Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue what? Once in a blue moon. You got that soap with a label so dope and a scent so strong it fills the room. Once in a blue what? Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue what? Once in a blue moon. Hey everyone, welcome back. From the intro, you can tell that I am using moon soaps. And oddly enough, with the whole thing that Ken did during Moon Soaps Week, although that has already passed, I'm using the same soap. The Amaretto Special, or Special, or whatever. Uh, this was ordered during Moon Soaps Week, and got here on Monday, after Moon Soaps Week. So, I missed a chance of using this. So, this is my first time using uh, Amaretto. The smell on this is absolutely fantastic, if you haven't smelled this at all. Uh, if you like um, marzipan and cherries, this is a phenomenal scent. Oh, love the way this one smells. This is a cream, so I mean it's a pretty hard cream, but it's a cream nonetheless. I think this is the only cream that Moon Soaps does. I'm trying to see where it says on here that it's a cream. I know it's a cream though. Anyway. Have this already made up, looped up in the fine accoutrements lather bowl, and I'm using the Manzanita Burl brush from none other than Smiles for Miles. See if you can see that coin there with the uh, V69 Giggity Knot, and uh, whipped up just beautifully in there. Look at that peak. I know I used this brush on my last video, or not my last video, but my uh, Dave Card Ace video. But I was trying to keep that one relatively short, so I didn't really get to show it off, but just look at this thing. I'm trying different lighting setup here. Hopefully this will come across better. But, oh man, right here it's kind of a little translucent in the blue. Not sure if it's gonna come up or not, but man. I absolutely love this brush. The knot is super soft. And yes, I do have my goatee back. If you watched my last video, which I know it didn't seem to do super well last time, I went camping this past weekend. And I, even though I took my shaving gear, um, there's absolutely zero running water. And I took a cooler with food, and it had water in a water, in a big two liter jug that I froze to act as ice, because I had to pack light, because I was catching a ride down to the camping ground. So I didn't really have a bottled water to use to create the lather, and I had shave sticks in my bowl. So I didn't shave. So I came back and I had three days or two and a half days worth of growth, which was about half what this is. It was pretty dark. So I figured, you know what, what the heck? That'd be a good time to grow the mustache or the goatee back. So the gear I'm using, it is uh, SE Timber or September for single edge. And this is the clog proof with the who knows what use gem PTFE blade. I just got a text message, hopefully that didn't interrupt anything. I can't do that. <laughs> so she's shooting with a straight and a, and a Chevette. For whatever reason, I simply, I, just, I can't seem to be able to shave my left side of my face with my left hand with a DE, SE or anything like that. But with a Chevette, it's natural. Even the straight razor, I can do it. But I just can't bring myself to do it with a single edge or a DE blade for some weird reason. This blade's still going really strong. I 
have no idea what use is on this blade. But it works really well. Clog proof has very little blade feel. It's a fairly mild razor compared to the other single edge razors that I have, like the uh, Micromatic Open Comb or even the uh, Saber Level 2. I'm not sure if you can see, but I just have a little bump on my cheek here from an ingrown hair. I normally don't get ingrowns on my cheeks. But this one was one of those wonderful hair, multiple hairs that grow to one fall, close to it's really thick. Relatively easy to get out, but I cut it last night with uh, the Chevette I was using. And that was because of the bump. So, stay. Alright, pass number two. Soap is performing absolutely brilliantly. You can see it's passing the Johan test without even trying. Just fell into my shirt because the soap is just that darn good. Or sorry, cream. So yeah, this weekend I went camping for a friend's bachelor party. He wanted to have an event that was based on Fallout. So we went and went to this camping place, which was a really nice campground, but uh, <laughs> the location was a little interesting in that where I set up my tent, in this area I was all grown, has grown up around the camping ground. So you have the campground, and where I pitched my tent was kind of close to a fence, and there were some bushes around so I could have shade. But um, on the other side of the bushes was a, a chain link fence. And then the other side of that was a park where they play soccer and all that kind of stuff. So Friday when we got there, there was a soccer game going on that evening. And when I woke up Saturday morning, there were people going to play you know, more rounds of soccer. And on the other side of the uh, the park were houses. So you have this, this nice large campground and then a park and then houses. <laughs> so that was kind of interesting. Um, but one thing that's really nice, being so close to civilization and still camping, is after we got done with the event on um, Saturday, most of the, a lot of people left. Uh, there was myself, the uh, the groom, the, one of the groom's best men. Um, let's see, and two other people that stayed to camp and help kind of clean up on Sunday. And uh, so we're sitting there, just kind of hanging on. It was warm; we didn't, even, we didn't even do a campfire. But we were just kind of sitting there, relaxing, sitting in our folding camp chairs and. It was a hot day and we'd been running around, goofing around and having fun all day long. And I'm sitting there like, you know, I should go for some ice cream right now. And, I'm, and I said, you know, not like a, a bowl of ice cream or anything. I just, I want to shake. I'm one guy that lives in that area. Like there's an Arctic Circle, which is a, a local Utah thing there in Idaho restaurant, fast food chain. It's like, there's a, an Arctic Circle which is like, 10 minutes from here. <laughs> but he's like, I'll go, I'll go pick some up. What does everybody want? So he went, he went and got shakes for everybody and came back before they were too melted. So that was really cool, having shakes while camping. Uh, we got there Friday and, uh, and the, the guys whose party it was like, oh, we need to go get some stuff. I forgot to grab a couple things from home and whatnot. And you now we're just going to Walmart. Walmart was five minutes away. Listen to the feedback. 
So it was interesting, but very convenient to have that kind of stuff there. And on Friday night, where we were sitting there going, oh, we need to, we need to get dinner. So I was with one guy, and after we did our Walmart run, one guy went to a Subway. Because I got to be real careful what I can eat when I eat out because of my food aversions now that I just found out about the trigger my arthritis. So they all wanted to get burritos and tacos and that. And I was like, yeah, have fun. I, I can't eat that stuff. Or I shouldn't eat that stuff if I'm going to be in a use tomorrow. So I'll go to Subway and have the world's most boring sandwich. So we did that and went back and just had a great weekend. Ended way too soon. Ah, oh, man. But it was, it was very interesting to be so close to civilization. But then again, it was nice. It's just nice to have that modern convenience of things. So close. Like, oh, we need to go get hot dogs for dinner on Saturday and Shoot, I forgot to grab this, or you know, we need, what else, what did we grab on Friday night? I can't remember what we grabbed. But we had to grab a couple things, like a whole punch. So we were able to grab just simple conveniences like that, which is awesome. And also being that close, we still had cell reception, so I could talk to my wife at night. I had to coordinate rides because we only have one car, and I couldn't leave my wife without a vehicle for the weekend. So I met the, the groom-to-be down in Salt Lake. I got right with my dad because he took my kids fishing this weekend that weekend. So he went fishing with my kids and I went and camping at a bachelor party. So we coordinated. My dad took me down to Salt Lake. Met up with the, the groom-to-be. Caught right with him to the campground and kind of helped him get everything set up. And then uh, he brought me all the way home on Saturday trying to coordinate rides because my dad going down would have conflicted with my wife meeting me in Salt Lake to give me a ride all the rest of the way home. So he just brought my little bit back home, which is really cool of him. And then I had to go to work on Monday. The party ended, adulting began. And I'm chasing the dragon. And I'm going to stop. So that was a phenomenal shave. If you have not tried Moon Soaps, highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I have, obviously, Amaretto, the Amaretto Special, and you've seen me use Union. Both of them perform fantastic. Uh, I believe all of their soaps, all of their scents are in a different base, except for two have the same base. Uh, I don't recall which two of those are. But there will be a link to their website below in the description, as well as a link specifically to the Emerald Special. Uh, they also do turned brushes, so if you want a brush, they make some amazing looking brushes that I've seen on their site as well. Uh, just absolutely fantastic stuff. So again, recap of the gear. Uh, used a vintage, this was the clog proof, with a who knows what use gem PTFE blade. Uh, the bowl I used was the Fine accoutrements, red one, that's what I have. And then the mezzanita burl with the uh, badger knot fan with um, from Smiles for Miles. So there'll be a link to his uh, Etsy shop down below as well. He makes some phenomenal brushes. Um, I just happen to have two more sitting right here that I love using and I've used those on my channel as well. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching my channel and the support you give me as well. Uh, it means more to me than you guys will know. 
So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, the giveaway should be coming up relatively soon. Just waiting to get the item in my hands so I can fully announce it.